Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in the Dubai Fafa. Me always on you in the Dubai Fafa. Come on, do do and you will Fafa. Come on, bring the Dubai Fafa. I love the flavors that only love my Bella. In the Dubai Fafa. Hello beautiful people, thank you again for joining me for another experience and this time I'll be using plantain, how's it doing? So the offer ripened plantain, you know, traditionally one would use this in making tatale or kaklu, I mean there are a lot of things you can make with over ripened plantain, but how about baking this amazing bread with plantain? It was my first experience. And it was a challenge. Now, let's see. So, of course, I've got some other ripened plantain. And I've placed that in my clay bowl. And I'm just mashing this as one word. You know, you plantain and if you've ripened it, you can go. 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 So, now that I've mashed this plantain, I think it kind of looks okay. Because, of course, by the time it bakes, it would melt into the bread. And it was just going to be incredible. Even if I say so. So the next thing I'm going to add, I'm going to add some eggs. Now, do not worry. I'll leave all the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudu by fafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. And what I'm going to do is mix this together until it's well combined. Next thing I'm going to add is my vanilla extract. Oh yes, it's going to be flavor packed as usual. And I'm just going to be mixing everything together until it's well combined. At this point, I realized I was making plantain brioche in my own in doo -doo twisted way. <laughs> Have you clicked the subscribe button yet? Please do so. Next thing is I'm adding some fresh milk and I will mix everything together. So I think that my wet sort of ingredient section is done. And you can see how fluffy it is and it's just light. And you can just see that it's packed with some natural flavors now, so dang. At this point, I was like, okay, let me just try and mash it a little bit more. But you know, you can blend it if you wish, not a problem. Now, let me talk about the dry ingredients. So to a bowl, I've added my salt and I've also added a little bit of my brown sugar now naturally plantain when it's over ripened also is sweet so that's why i've just added about two tablespoonful of sugar yes and i'm sifting my bread flour here as you can see and this you would readily find this in most supermarkets anyway as i said i'd leave the measurements and the list of ingredients on my blog in dudubaifafat.blogspot.com so do check it out so I am going to mix everything together again until it's well combined, as I always love to say. <laughs> now, the next ingredient I'll be using will be my instant dry yeast. Yet again, you can find this in most supermarkets across the UK. And I'm going to mix everything together. And once that's done, I can now mix my wet ingredient to my dry ingredients is you and then this is the point that i have to activate my bicep absolutely and my core because all the fufu in the bank i've been eating i have to exercise it out so in the absence of you not having the mixer then of course you have to use your hand and that would take you a bit longer but it's a good exercise so anyway i'm just mixing everything together and i'm going to form that beautiful dough so to a clean surface, do add some flour. Now this will help you knead your dough if you're using your hand, yes. So you're activating that core in your bicep at the same time and you're going to be doing some kitchen moves. So you are exercising as well as, you know, treating yourself later, that's how it goes. So you notice that the amount of flour I've used here is, is quite a lot. 
and the reason is because this dough is very very soft and I'll be kneading it and this is going to help me knead it beautifully now you can omit this altogether if you do have the mixer because you just place that in and that will just mix everything together for you into that beautiful shiny consistency that one requires so of course at this point I kept doing it and you know once I just got the flour around it um, I was like no I think at some point I have to place this you know in my mixer but anyway now that I think I've used the flour traditionally one would use um, butter loads of butter for brioche but I prefer to use my olive oil and it's this extra virgin so amazing flavor packed um, olive oil that I'm using instead but as I mentioned you can use your butter not a problem and yet again I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog so yes this could take up to about 30 minutes for you to get to that beautiful consistency that this requires don't give up hope you know it's worth it but if not then you need to get your mixer use you so here we have it look at how glossy and shiny and beautiful this look at the texture now please do bear in mind that at some point i was just tired so i just placed it in my mixer and um you know mixed it for another 10 minutes and i ended up with this so yes disclaimer <laughs> i did it halfway at least yeah so anyway so now that i've got a look at this now this is the consistency i'm looking at Look how stretchy this is. And even like, you know, it's so light and then it tears. Like I, I went to the point that it just tears that that is what you're looking for. Cause you want this to be nice, soft, fluffy, and just so. And what I love about this dough is you can actually see the plantain speck in there. And it smelled so incredible. I was like, why haven't I ever done this before? But there's always a first time and I've enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is not any other food. This is in to do by far, far. So now I'm going to allow this to proof. So I've placed this in a bowl and I've covered it with a cling film. Now, if you've been watching any of my baking recipes, I always say I place this in a warm place. So I warm up my oven and I open the door, place this on the door. And that means that in about 45 minutes, my dough rises. But if not, especially particularly in this cold weather, it might take a couple of hours for your dough to rise. If it's is quite cold where you are so now that my dough has risen i've taken the cling film off and i'm just drizzling a little bit of my olive oil over it that would allow me to take it out of the bowl and place it on my clean surface so i can actually shape this into this beautiful oblong shape may i say <laughs> I hope I've given you the reason to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet and the notification button so that you do not miss any other recipe. Now look at this. Look at the texture of this. This is like some fufu thing we crowd going on here. So I've shaped that into my oblong shape and I've just got my bread cutter here and I'm just using that to, you know, just do some shenanigans as one does. You don't need to do this, but I think that just allows an easy pull and tear sort of like, you know, brioche when it's done. It started as bread and then it's ended up as a brioche and there's only other brioches that in do dubai for first brioche so of course in your baking tin you need to oil your baking tin and i used a little bit of olive oil to do so and i've placed that in and i'm going to cover with the same cling film again and i'm just going to allow this to rise for the second time or proof me i say for the second time yet again i place it on my oven um, door and um, because yes that indirect heat would allow this to double up in size and yet again about 45 minutes and i think that just looks good look at this this is not any other food oh, this is in dubai fa so at this point preheat your oven to 180 degrees now of course because i've been using the oven improving it my oven was hot already so i've placed this beauty in the oven now guess what i'm actually going to add some water in the tray at the bottom so whilst this is baking it's going to form that steam and the steam is going to cook the bread and it's also going to allow the bread not to burn too quickly so that is my trick and after about 30 minutes you end up with this beautiful but delicious plantain <laughs> brioche yes look at that
So now that I've taken the brioche out, I'm brushing it with some olive oil because I don't want the crust to be too crusty. I still need it a little bit on the softer side. And I just leave it in the tin for about five minutes. Now is the time for me to take it out of the tin. Now let's look. Hey, no, 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 go back. Mm -hmm. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> now take it off gently and peel it off the other side as you do. Hey, this bread is soft. Hey, no be bread, it be brioche now. Ah, get your facts right. Look at this. Hey. Now do you want to see how it looks like inside? Yeah, you ready? Have you clicked the subscribe button? You do not want to be missing more videos like this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. your fact bono. Did it work? Did it not work? Now let's see. Now this is a classic case of if you do not challenge yourself and push the boundaries, you will never experience something new. I just did. This is such a satisfying feeling for me and I hope you guys enjoy the recipes and enjoy what I do because it's like it's just more than food this helps me to feel better and good about myself each day it's such a stimulating thing for one's mental capacity you know you're feeling sad I am yeah big I cook I feel frustrated guess what I throw it down in the kitchen you put your energy into greater things. You see what I'm saying? Now that I've got this, guess what? I just had it with my coconut shito. So Emily to that sort of, you know, Nigerian agege bread sort of a thing, but this is on the sweeter side. And then you've got this amazing black chili sauce known as the Ghanaian shito. It is an incredible combination, even if I say so. Yes. Now, please do try this recipe and do leave your comments about what you think about this recipe so far. Are you intrigued enough? Is it going to allow you to try the recipe? Yeah, please do so. As I mentioned, naturally, I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, indudubyfafat.blogspot.com, so do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as indudubyfafat, where you get live feeds. So definitely do subscribe to those other social media handles absolutely no real my theme song is incredible me love you thank you so much and until next time my kings and queens and beautiful people take care of you be nice be beautiful be gorgeous be yourself and guess what i love you for you thank you for watching and thank you for sharing this experience with me toodles until my next recipe coming soon All right, ciao.